we start this lesson, one should understand first about the levels of organization in the human body. Levels of organization in the human body. The human body is composed of several complex units that work as one. Atoms of elements group together to form molecules. And so, the molecules are grouped together to form a cell. The smallest living unit in the body is called a cell. Billions of cells, all of them specializing in certain functions, make up the body. A group of similar cells with similar functions is called a tissue. Tissues with a specific function form an organ. Organs are grouped together into systems. These systems depend on its other work together in the body of an organism. And so the human body is made of different body systems that work together. Complex units work as one the human body. Atoms of elements group together to form molecules and group together to form cells. A group of cells with similar functions is called a tissue. An organ forms from tissues with specific function. Organs are grouped together to form systems. These systems work together in the body of an organism. The muscular system. What are the different types of muscles and their functions? There are 600 muscles in the human body. Most muscles are attached to bones and extended from one bone to another. Each end of the muscles is attached to a bone by a strong connective tissue, a tendon. Bones of the muscles move only when the muscles attach to them and pull. There are four characteristics associated with muscles tissue. Excitability Tissue can receive and respond to stimulation. Contractility Tissue can shorten and thicken. Extensibility Tissue can lengthen. Elasticity After contracting or lengthening, tissue always wants to return to its restating state. There are three kinds of muscles. Skeletal muscles, also known as traded or voluntary. Number two, smooth or involuntary muscles, which forms the muscle layers of the digestive tract and other internal organs. Three, cardiac or heart muscles. Functions of muscles. The muscles give the body shape and mass. They support the skeleton and keep it steady. Muscles enable you to stand and maintain body posture. Muscles Muscles are responsible for body movement like walking, running, jumping, and dancing. Breathing and swallowing would also be impossible without muscles. Skeletal muscles. Muscles that are connected to bones and are responsible for movement are called skeletal muscles. The movement of skeletal muscles is voluntary. Voluntary muscles move when they are consciously controlled. Aside from movement, 
these muscles give shape to the body. Skeletal muscles can be found largely in the arms, legs, chest, abdomen, face, and neck. Their size and shape de depend on their functions. For example, the muscles of the eye are small and weak, while the muscles of the arms are big and strong because they are used in physically demanding activities. The skeletal muscle consists of mass of muscle fibers grouped together and are attached to the boots through tendons. These muscles are striations when seen under microscope. When the muscles contract, it pulls the tendon, which in turn pulls the bone. Skeletal muscles work in pairs. This means when one contract, the other relaxes. When you bend your arm, the upper muscle shortens, while the lower muscles lengthen. When you pull down your arms, the lower muscles contract, while the upper muscle relaxes. The elbow strengthens because the lower muscle pulls the bone of the lower arm. The smooth muscles. The smooth muscles are made of long thin cells that form layers like pile of They cannot be controlled. Muscles that cannot be controlled is a type of involuntary muscles. Smooth muscles are not attached to the bones. They are involuntary muscles because they work automatically like digesting food. You cannot consciously control the action of smooth muscles. Smooth muscles unconsciously control many of the internal organs of the body like the stomach, arteries, vein, and uterus. Smooth muscles. Smooth muscles are found in the walls of the blood vessels, helping the blood flow. When you eat, the tuned food is pushed by the rhythmic movement called peristalsis of the smooth muscles of the digestive canal. Cardiac muscles. Cardiac muscles is found only in the heart. The cardiac muscle works like a smooth and voluntary muscle. The bundles of cardiac muscles are all connected and can work together to keep the heart pumping. Cardiac muscles move rhythmically, contracting and relaxing are alternately to generate force to pump blood throughout the body. The heart beats at the rate of 70 per minute or more than 100,000 times a day. Please subscribe for more videos update. Thank you!